when she got home she prayed she was so excited did the papers and then she prayed and then she picked up no <laughs> surely that's the answer from god right <laughs> but because she wanted a yes <laughs> she decided to fast the next day with her best friend oh, oh, hear thee hear thee thou art thou wife hey gems welcome back to my channel Today, I am giving you a couple of tips on how to handle um, the statement of God told me you are my partner. <laughs> how to handle that statement because I see it floating around so much on social media where um, the person who's been told that they are the answer <laughs> from God is always confused saying, what should I do? What should I do? And also I was motivated to actually talk about this topic properly after um, listening to the interview following the tragic passing of Barbara Tommy. Um, if you haven't seen my video on that, I'm going to link it up in the cards and also drop it in the description. So, so tragic. Um, yes because when i was listening to the interview um the sister of barbara so her older sister mentioned that this whole thing this whole marriage relationship all started because the husband who has now been convicted i believe his brother prophesied and said barbara tommy who has passed away now by the hands of her husband hmm? she's the wife to Sylvester okay so this was something that was planted in Barbara and her family and as God-fearing people as they are they I don't know the steps they took but that's what motivated me to talk about this topic because you know it didn't end quite well with them and I'm sure a lot of people can also attest to the fact that just because God has said someone's your partner it isn't um literally it's not just a full stop there are steps you need to also take so that you're not just going in blindly. I'm not saying that that's what Barbara did. I do not know how they handled their situation. I'm just saying that after the interview, something that stood out to me in relation to all the other things I see from Facebook forums, I wanted to talk about this topic. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I need you to um, identify or establish is which God is this person referring to, okay? There's God and there's the enemy. And some people work under the enemy, under the pretense of God, okay? So what you need to understand or establish is which God is this person even referring to? And are you even worshiping the same God in order to hear from the same God? A lot of people hide behind religion, a lot of people hide behind God and then when it's time to take accountability and responsibility, we hide behind the enemy. It's the enemy who made us do X, Y and Z, but it was God who also told you to come and marry me, okay? So I really need you to establish this. Do not go in blindly when someone comes to you with this statement. <laughs> I would even say run, but we're not gonna do that because every case is different, okay? God has said that by their fruits, you will know them, okay? Fruits take time to develop, okay? So this isn't a um, overnight, I've prayed and my feelings are telling me I need to go with them because I am a God sent to them. No, fruits take time. So what you need to do is go in prayer as well as give it some time for their actions and their words to bear fruit and bear witness to the statement they have professed to you okay so open your eyes you know on this channel i share a lot of things you need to look out for in terms of red flags i'll put some on the screen <laughs> as well as toxic people how to spot toxic people i'll also put that on the screen um uh, emotional manipulation how subtle some of them can be I'll put all of that in the screen it will be up in the cards as well as down in the description please check it out so whilst you're observing 
you will have a blueprint from these videos I've made for you to observe if they fit into any of that because then you will know which master they serve, okay? Now, the second thing I need you to ask them is, what was your response to God when God told you, I am your partner? Look, when God talks to us, we also respond. It's called communication. He doesn't just dump something on you and call it a day. No, true relationship with God is having that close relationship and communication with him. If something isn't going well in your mind, you don't understand what he's saying, you have that conversation with him and he will give you something. Even if it isn't the answer to your prayers, he will give you something. If you're watching this and you have a great relationship with God, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you aren't there yet in terms of your relationship with God, the next point will make more sense to you. In relation to this person who has come to you with this statement, ask them this question. So once you've asked them, wait for their response, obviously, some of them will be like, I didn't say anything. Well, then you need to go and say something. <laughs> That's one thing. But for you, so you on the receiving end, what I need you to focus on is if God has told someone to do something, it can be either they want to do it or they do not want to do it. If they want to do it, then surely they have also seen something in your actions that they like and therefore is in line with God um, with what God has said. However, if they don't like you um, and they are um, literally dragging their feet to obey God's request or suggestion or whatever it is that they've brought to you, that's the danger zone. You do not want to be under the danger zone because they will never love you for you. They will be under the pretense that God supposedly told them that you are their partner, but they won't really be responsible or take accountability of everything because they will say, they didn't want you anyway. It was God who said you were their wife, okay? So I need you to really understand these two things. The third thing, piggybacking from my previous point is asking yourself okay what's your standing with god um do you even have a relationship with god <laughs> do you even have the ability to discern his um will for your life purpose for your life and when he's communicating with you are you even able to discern it that's one thing you really 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 need to um establish and the good news is you can start today. You can start building that relationship with him, especially if you can't hear him. You can start that today. You can start practicing that today. God isn't the author of confusion. If he's told one person, surely in time, in due time, in God's time, <laughs> he will tell you to. And it's not gonna be this audible, Who oh, hear thee, hear thee thou art thou wife <laughs> ah, that's not how it's gonna be well i don't think that's how it's gonna be however he's already told us the qualities of a good wife and the qualities of a good husband so the fruits that the person is displaying so their words and their actions if it goes in line with the standards set out by god then you have your answer okay however if it doesn't, if it's not in line with those things, then you have your answer as well. Now, the bonus point. I know it can be very, very hard. If anything, it's it can become a mental block or a mental obstacle when you, deep down, you feel like you're going against what God has said, okay? That's when people can use that manipulative tactic on you. So I need you to be very, very, careful and beware do not fear okay do not be afraid to approach god okay with your dilemma i'll share a story with you um that i've read i can't remember if it was on a forum or somewhere it's probably facebook um where this young lady was saying that she had had a word from a pastor okay she had narrated um her dilemma to the pastor it was all about obviously she likes a guy <laughs> she likes a guy and she doesn't know if it's god's will or not so that's how she ended up going to the pastor to explain her dilemma 
in order to get some help and the pastor was like when you go home take piece of paper put yes in one put no in one and say your prayer and then the um, scrunch up the papers and put it on the on the bed or wherever when you've said your prayer then pick up one of the papers and then whatever um, answer is in there is directly from God okay so I remember when I was reading it going down so when she got home she prayed she was so excited did the papers and then she prayed and then she picked up no <laughs> surely that's the answer from God right <laughs> but because she wanted a yes <laughs> she decided to fast the next day with her best friend and then they did the papers again but this time she picked yes and her friend also picked yes the plot is <laughs> thickening okay here's the plot twist when they both picked a yes automatically all of a sudden God said yes so she went on her merry old way and started to pursue this man that she was already um, praying about okay uh, let's just say it didn't end well because the person in front of her displayed plenty various red flags various toxic traits however because she had this yes from God she turned a blind eye to all of these red flags that were glaring in her eyes okay and when she felt like actually I don't think this person even likes me like that and I'm pretty much throwing myself at them I want to come out of this then she had to fight with the mental um, the mental state that she had um, you know built up because now she felt like she was going against God because technically God had said yes and now she was saying no <laughs> anyway long story short I think what did she end up doing she broke things up off with the guy because the guy was just you know dragging his heels and I it was a bullet that she dodged I think in my opinion I'll see if I can find the blog post and I'll put it down below but yeah this is my opinion on how um, you can start <laughs> handling the question or um, the statement of God said you are my partner what are your thoughts ladies what are your thoughts and gentlemen who are watching my um, video what are your thoughts has anyone even told you this before if they have how did you go about it and if it has ended well for you as in you're still with your partner please let us know drop some gems down below let's help each other okay if you are enjoying my content please 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 don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe people i need you to subscribe and also share it with people we're trying to create an awareness and help people just build up their um their worth and their self um esteem that's all we do on this channel so if you have anyone in mind who will benefit from this content then please share my videos to them and feel free to share it onto platforms as well because you can embed these videos anyway till next time take care and god bless bye bye